Hi all, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, June 27th. This is for all signs, but keep in mind this reading may not be for you because I can't read every single person. Wow, isn't that amazing? It looks like we have the exact right amount of cards that fell out. <laughs> okay, so the exact amount of cards fell out of my hand at this time, so something's going right. Okay, it's, there's synchronicities today. Pay attention, okay? So today is a day of things happening that are meant to happen whatever's happening today is absolutely meant and the camera is like right where it needs to be son of a gun so it is a day of synchronicities it's like things are whatever's happening today is the right thing and, it, and you know this thing has just I started this reading it's played out perfectly as as planned as as of yet okay so this is what this day is about. It's about things happening as they should. Okay, so try not to resist it. Um, you can't, it's, it, it's not, some, whatever's happening is not something you can control. It's out of your control. So um, you, it's, you're being called to just go with it, to just go with whatever happens, okay? Because it is the right thing. It is, it's meant, it's meant to be. There is some sort of karma that is playing out. As we see with this judgment card reversed, it is labeled karma in this deck. Um, there is, could be some ties that are being severed between you and somebody else. And it, it feels as though somebody is giving up. They're no longer putting in effort. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore because it's not the right thing. And I know that it's not the right thing. So whatever it is, whether somebody's leaving you or you're leaving them, whether it's a work situation, a love situation, whatever it is, whatever's happening is, is part of the plan, okay? Um, it, it's going to make you happy in the end. It's going to make you uh, very, very happy. At first, it may cause withdrawal. It might, may cause you to feel a little uneasy, okay? It might make you feel uncomfortable. But in the end, it's, it's going to make you feel... Um, calm and at ease okay so it's there's like a shift okay you go from feeling uneasy to detached cold and withdrawn to I knew this was happening I knew this was going to happen you know my intuition told me this was going to happen now my happiness begins you know so there is definitely a shift something happens allows something to be released to be let go of may even ask for forgiveness okay forgiveness may be needed here because the judgment card is about forgiveness you may need to forgive the situation and just move on i feel like whatever is happening is bringing about a sense of of calmness of tranquility after a period of uneasiness, okay? So there is something that is no longer moving forward. It isn't. And I don't know what it is in your life because we all live different lives. Um, there has been some sort of shady business, sneaky behavior, um, lies, betrayal that is coming out. It's, it's, it's being dealt with. This is a karmic... A karmic betrayal of some sort that is being dealt with today it's being it's being brought to brought to the light brought to the table and being let go and you know sometimes that dot does cause some hurt it does cause emotional um, oh, what's the word for it disruption per se you know you may not be able to master your emotions for a minute okay it may cause a little bit of hurt 
whatever this is. But it, like I said, it brings you tranquility it, and you knew that this needed to happen so that you could have relief and be happy with your life, whatever it is. It was the right thing to do. It's opening new doors. It's opening a new path. It's allowing you to to broaden your horizons. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what we have here. Um, it feels as though, you know, this there could be some sort of, of gathering that comes about because of this. Or this happens at a gathering. It happens at some sort of celebration. Some Something happens. The news comes out. Um, somebody gets caught. And the shit hits the, hits the fan. And for a moment, it feels really uncomfortable. But in the end, it, it brings you peace. So that's a really good feeling, right? Um, that judgment card reverse, which is the karma card, this, there could be this, when this happens at the moment, there could be moments of self-doubt, moments of, you know, not wanting to accept this truth, even though you need to, okay? There is something that is is going to be released with the Nine of Wands. Something is going to be released. I give up. I give up this fight. I'm not going to put effort into it. I'm not going to hold on to it. I, it's done. It's over. Because that is the right thing at this time. It's the right thing to do. So I feel as though somebody is is moving forward in a better direction it may hurt but they know they have to I, I have to I absolutely have to um, and they've been trying to stop this from happening trying to keep things under control trying to keep things structured and organized but it still didn't serve them it still didn't serve them they were deceiving themselves by trying to keep this intact when it wasn't meant to be it wasn't leading anywhere you know so it feels as though today is a day where it is going to be released whether you like it or not okay and i think on one hand you're ready for it you know it's coming but on the other hand it really hurts so you know that's that's a fact of life it's something that you thought was going to happen by now i thought it was going to happen by now but it hadn't happened by now, and, and now it's happening. And I need to, I need to uh, tell you that the timing is fluid on these daily re readings. I like to even say they're pretty much timeless, because this is when it resonates with you. Okay, so this could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be last week. Okay, this is for somebody at the time that they need to that they that it resonates with them i am picking this up on wednesday june 27th um capricorn full moon this is about karma and this is about karma some and this is karma reversed some karmic situation is being released with this full moon and it hurts and it's not comfortable but it leads to peace okay so I'm not sure what this is for you, but there is a situation that is 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 go is moving out of your life. We're gonna get one of these. It didn't serve you. It did not serve. It served you for a time. It served you for a time, but in the future it doesn't serve you. Okay. At the it, at one point it had really good intentions. But then the intentions shifted and changed, and there was deceit and doubt. And now it's time to let it go. It's time to let go of this situation that doesn't, doesn't play a part in your life anymore. Severing ties. Severing ties with this karmic situation. I just want to be happy. And happiness is coming because of it. Peace and happiness. I see peace. Let your friends help you during this time if you need them. Okay, this is a time of friendship as well. Um, you may feel angry when this happens. The emperor reversed is anger. You may feel a little bit angry, you know, because when those feelings come up, they hurt. They hurt. So, 
you know, just, just know that this too shall pass, whatever it is. Seeing the true you. Seeing the true you. I'm going to read a little bit from the book on this one. But we all know what that means. It's about, it's about owning up to who you are. Sometimes we believe that others tell us. Sometimes we believe what others tell us we are. As though the self we see reflected back to us through their eyes is truth. Yet the accuracy of reflection depends on the clarity of what, of that which is doing the reflecting. If the receiver forms any opinion about what is perceived, then what is reflected back to us will, at best, be distorted. It is not necessarily through ill will. It is just the mechanics of the situation. Even the moon reflects the sun in varying degrees of fullness and clarity. We can learn something of the nature of the sun from the moon, but not as much as through direct perception. This oracle has come to you because you have been putting rather too much faith in the reflections others have of you, to the point that you might not be honoring all that you are and all that you are becoming because you believe too little of yourself. There may be those around you that are able to reflect you more faithfully and even help you see more of your own greatness and beauty. These are the souls blessed with your inner stillness. In the clear waters of their ocean of consciousness, you can come to recognize yourself with clearer perception. However, there are those who have not tended to their own ocean and are unable to be still enough to genuinely receive and reflect your light back to you. There is no judgment here. Each takes the path of self-healing that is available and appropriate at any given time. However, to attempt to see the magnificence of a sun in a very partial moon doesn't make too much sense. If you are blessed with those in your life who can show you the beauty within you, wonderful. Even so, this oracle comes to you with a task you are now ready for. You are... you. You are to begin to develop the art of direct perception. This is the ability to recognize yourself not only in the eyes of others, but from how you feel about yourself, how you experience yourself, and how you observe yourself from within. This is a step towards a radical empowerment that does not require perfection in order for you to recognize you are lovable and have much to offer. It is empowerment based on the acceptance of all that you are, working within your strengths, tending to your weaknesses, and being loving, encouraging, and nurturing of all that you perceive. As you continue on this journey, you will not only see your human self, but the internal within you. This is a breathtaking experience that opens you up to the creative energy that flows abundantly through all of life. It is an experience that takes great preparation because we must be strong within our own self-love and acceptance to be able to hold acceptance for all of life. This oracle is nudging you into that per preparation for when you have the experience of truly beholding yourself, all judgment, look at the judgment card, all judgment, fear, and doubt will fall away and you will just know yourself to be sacred. Then when, you, when, then you will be asked to embrace the deeper journey of sacred rebellion against judgment and fear and into passionate creativity and unconditional trust in life. This oracle comes with a special message for you. If you are getting confused about who you are and the motives or actions based on what others are saying or how they are responding to you, step back. In your quest to be a responsible person, you may be unintentionally taking on the feelings of others, making their reflections of you more than they are in your truth. More often than not, reflections are more about the state of the reflector than what is being reflected. 
Let those external perceptions go. Can you just acknowledge yourself? Do so and be free. What a great card for the day. To find peace, you need to follow your own path. Release the perceptions and the reflections of those people that don't have your best interest in, at heart. So, with the King of Cups reverse, somebody doesn't have your best interest at heart. And somebody has been deceiving themselves and being deceived by allowing this to happen. So I don't know who this is for, but it's time to let go. It's time to release and do the right thing for you. Pay attention to the synchronicities today. Everything is happening as it should in divine timing. There are no coincidences today. See you tomorrow.